Okay, I am starting the vlog at 8.30 p.m. on a Sunday, which I know you're thinking, Madison, why are you doing that? Could be a psychopathic tendency that I have, could just be the fact that I'm bored. I just wanted to talk to the camera. Uploads have not been as frequent lately, and I just wanted to kind of chat with you at the beginning of this vlog about my mental health, where I've been, because I feel like I've been here, you know? I haven't taken a long hiatus from YouTube, I've been here, but I, I don't know, I think it's pretty apparent that I haven't really been present with you all in my videos, and I think I used to be a lot better at that. So I thought we'd have a little mental health chat at the beginning of this video, and then I would take you along with me for the next couple of days. So I hope that's okay. We're not starting this vlog with a cute little montage. We're starting this vlog by getting real. Madison, how have you been? The past six months have kind of been a whirlwind for me. Like, if you would have told me six months ago exactly where I'd be right now and what would be going on in my life right now, my hair is a mess. I just came inside and it was pouring outside. If you would have told me six months ago what was gonna go on in my life and where I'd be at now, I would have been like, no way. Absolutely no way. I just wouldn't have believed it. And I think there's a lot of positive things that have went on in the past six months that I really felt like I've grown as a person. But at the same time, I, it's, I am a person who doesn't like change. I don't think that's an uncommon characteristic. I think a lot of people don't like change, especially us Virgo Risings out there. We hate change. And uh, there's still part of me that doesn't want to accept that things have changed and doesn't want to accept that I'm growing and like the way just like I'm I'm maturing. I'm 23 now. I'm not the same as I was when I was 17, 18, 22. I'm just I I've grown as a person and I've changed and that's I don't know why that's so hard for me to accept. Um, it's hard for me to let go of things that I once thought were going to be in my life for a long time. I have a really hard time letting people go. And this is getting very, 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 very personal. And I didn't think we were going to go here when I turned on the camera and who knows if I'll keep this in. But I'm the type of person with friendships, with relationships, with anything. It takes a lot for me. Whenever I find somebody that I really like and we're friends, um, I, I have a hard time cutting that off and letting that go, even if it no longer serves me. And this is a quality that I've had about myself for a really long time. I, I just, whenever I find someone, I usually am like, this person will be in my life forever. I know that there are those sayings that are like, some people come into your life forever, some people for a season. I have never understood the seasonal thing. It just is not something that's ever clicked with me. Sometimes I put up with treatment I don't think I should have to my detriment because I want to keep that person. And I've done this with so many people, I couldn't even tell you. Um, and I think now I'm at a point where I finally kind of distance myself from situations that weren't serving me in the way that I feel like things should serve me. And it's really sad, but you know when you have to give yourself tough love and tell yourself, I know you're really sad, but your brain is telling your heart this. I know you're really sad, but at the same time, I'm doing what's best for you. It kind of feels like that. There's a stark dichotomy in what my brain wants and how my heart feels because I am a person that when I care about someone, when I'm somebody's friend, like I do care really strongly for them. And I, that's why I don't have a huge group of friends because I've just always been the type of person that will have like three or four really close people in my life. So whenever I have to lose somebody, it's, it's really hard. And I definitely don't want to sit here and play the victim of like, oh, I've been wronged by so many people because I think over the past six months, another thing that I've really learned how to do is take accountability and I can look back at some of those situations and see where I messed up too. And I think that's part of maturing as well. But that's been really hard. But I think on the other side of this, I will feel like I've grown and I will feel like that I've learned how I should be treated and how I should be feeling in friendships and relationships and hopefully that lesson is worth it. <laughs> I think it is, but it's it's hard and that's kind of what I've been dealing with. I've always dealt with anxiety. You all know this. I've talked about this so many times on my channel of being anxious. I have panic attacks. I have generalized anxiety. 
So I deal with that a lot. I've never really dealt with depression until the last six months or so and that has been difficult for me being in this slump to the point where I graduated with a degree in psychology so obviously I knew the DSM definition of depression but I think it took me a couple of months in a very deep slump to realize that I was depressed. I need to find some help and that has been just the fact that it took me months to get there was shocking to me because it was so apparent that I was going through it mentally but I feel like right now I'm in a good place with it. The only thing that's hard for me, and I feel like this can be really hard for anybody that has any sort of mental illness, mental health issue, is just the feeling of very slow progress to where it feels like no progress. Sometimes I have days where I feel like I've taken one step forward and then the next day I'll take three steps back. And that's really hard because that's negative two steps total if you did the math. So it just feels like I'm never making any progress. But progress isn't always linear. That's what everybody says. It's so true. And I feel like I'm having more good days than bad days right now. I still have my moments. I still have my hours where I'm sad. I'm slowly putting in the work so that soon I'll be making positive progress more often. So that's my goal. I think it's realistic. I've been just, I've decided that I'm in a chapter of my life where I really want to work on myself and make myself the best version of myself because I think that has kind of been on the back burner for six months just because of everything I've just been talking about. I feel like I've kind of neglected me and I've decided that 2022 is going to be the year where I become the absolute best version of myself and I'm really excited for that. So I think that's kind of my mental health update. I This was very random at the beginning of the vlog. so. I hope you enjoyed it. I just, I feel like I've been filming videos and I've been talking to you all, but I haven't been as open and as transparent as I used to be, where I used to just sit down and talk about my thoughts and be like, here it is and lay it all out. And I don't know why I haven't been doing that. I am excited to be vlogging right now and I'm excited for my content to be just a little bit more personal and also just a little bit more thorough in general. I definitely make law school content and that's what I do, but I feel like as of recently I haven't been doing that the same way I used to. I think my law school content used to be a lot more informative and I would try to provide a lot of value and I don't know, recently it's just been more of a picking my camera up, being like I'm going to class now, not talking about what I do in classes, not talking about how I'm studying. So I want to start doing that in my content again as well. So I hope you enjoyed this little spiel, but that's what I wanted to come talk to you about at 8 p.m. on a Sunday night. I do want to try to go to bed here soon, even though I just started the vlog, because I do want to get a good amount of sleep, but I just got home from Nathan's. We made homemade pizza tonight and watched Drag Race, and it was super fun. And I got home to a care package from my mom. She sent me things. It's so funny. I just saw her today, and she ordered me a package to be shipped to my apartment, and it's just like, it's just a little gift, but it's really cute. So I wanted to share it with you because I'm, I'm very excited. My mother knows me really well. She gets me the best gifts. Like anybody else who gets me gifts who's watching, I'm sorry, but she just, she does the best. You can't beat her. She got me a restock of my Mike's Hot Honey. I swear, this has become my, my Frank's Red Hot, where it's like, I used to put Frank's on everything. I put Mike's Hot Honey on everything everything i just hauled it a couple of weeks ago and i'm already almost done with it so i was really happy to get a restock then she got me this which i have had before and she didn't know that i had had it before and i really like it so i thought that was funny this is the aztec secret indian healing clay you basically i have always mixed this with water and it's like a face mask but it it makes your skin pulsate and i know that sounds terrifying the first couple times i did it it was really scary and i've always mixed it with water but she told me to mix it with apple cider vinegar and it says to do that on here too so i think sometime this week i'm going to do that because that would be a good little self-care night she also this is what i was really excited about because i just don't have a water bottle so whenever i drink water i drink it out of cups and does anybody else it just feels weird drinking water out of a cup Maybe it's just me. I just like having a bottle and I just haven't had a good bottle lately. And she got me this bottle, which is super cute because you guys remember in my vlogs, I think it was my vlog last month. I was talking about how I was really trying to drink a ton of water. This one has the like little markers throughout the day of how much water you're supposed to hit. 
which is making me very, very excited. I'm going to wash this today because I'm going to start using it tomorrow. And then she got me a cute little crossword puzzle book to do whenever I'm feeling anxious or whenever I just like need something to distract myself or I'm feeling stressed or whatever. I'm going to go throw this in the dishwasher. I have some dishes I need to do right now anyways because I've been putting off doing my dishes. went to my dad's house to see my dogs and my dad today. I got a suitcase because this weekend, well next weekend is our spring break and I am going on a trip. It's not like an insane trip. It's actually hopefully going to be a really productive trip, but I'm basically, I'm just going down to Georgia with Nathan because Nathan's from Georgia. So we'll be down there for like a week, which should be really fun. Um, I've been to Georgia before, but it's been absolutely forever, so it should be a good trip. I grabbed some things for my house that I hadn't brought yet, so, um, I'm just gonna unpack this and then slowly throughout the week, because we're leaving Saturday morning, um, slowly throughout the week I'm just gonna pack this up. But I brought my little piggy! I've been wait. this is my little, this was in my office. Um, my little pig with wings. I think he's so cute. I don't know where I'm gonna put him. Oh, I might put him in the living room. Then I brought this little plant that was in my office from Target, this little plant from Target, and then this candle that had been in my office from Target that I just never brought. Two more things, just random things. I have my Juvia's Place uh, Masquerade palette, which is one of my favorite, oh my gosh, it's blurry. One of my favorite makeup palettes that I just didn't have with me. Then my copy of the code, because I've been Googling UCC provisions all semester because I did not have this with me and I finally brought it. So now I have my code with me. Always keep your code with you. I'm gonna set this aside for now because I'm not gonna start packing probably until like Tuesday because Tuesday's laundry day. But I'm happy that I got all that and I'm very excited for spring break. There will be a road trip vlog. I think it's like a nine hour drive. So that'll be a fun little vlog and I'll just be vlogging the entire time which is gonna be super fun um where should i set you now i have to do my skincare now so i'm gonna do my skincare and then then i'll update i feel like we're chatting a lot tonight this is really great i feel like we haven't done this in a while okay i'm not gonna lie today was the first time in probably five days that i've done my entire skincare routine and it feels so good it is 908 i am already in bed i am feeling i'm living my best life here and i'm about to read i've been reading for pleasure lately just because i read a lot for school and it's like i i just used to really enjoy reading so now i've kind of forced myself to spend 20 to 30 minutes at the end of my day reading so i'll show you what i'm reading right now i am currently reading the guest list by lucy foley i just started it yesterday and i only did like 30 pages yesterday i did like probably 70 pages today but honestly so far I thought I was gonna really like this book because and then there were none by Agatha Christie is one of my favorite books of all time this kind of gave me similar vibes when I was reading reviews um but honestly so far it's just a very slow build up I'm over 100 pages in and I just don't it just it hasn't got me yet I could probably set this book down and not care about the outcome. I'm just finishing it out of perseverance at this point, but I don't know. Maybe it'll pick up at the end, but right now, about halfway through, I wouldn't say I'm enjoying it. A stark contrast from two days ago where I read Verity by Colleen Hoover. I love suspenseful, kind of psychological, thriller type of books. That book, I picked it up. I did not put it down until I finished it two and a half hours later. So that is a book that is just... it starts really quick and it's impossible to put down so that book i would 100 percent recommend if this book dramatically improves then maybe i'd recommend it but as of right now not a big fan but i'm probably gonna read until like 9 45 10 ish head to bed look at hold on look how many alarms i have i'm one of those people let me know if you're one of those people that has a ton of alarms or if you only have a few but i have so many um so i'm gonna set my alarm for 6 a.m tomorrow morning and I will talk to you then, and we will have a good Monday together.
Good morning, everyone. It is 6.15 right now. I just got out of bed and made myself my coffee. I have my reading to do today for class. I only have one class on Monday. It's commercial sales. And I have about 18 pages to read. The reading for this class is never super long. It's the problems that are that take some time. So that's why I'm up super early. I don't have to class until 10.30, but I wanna make sure I'm able to get it done. The past few days, I've been sleeping in. Like, yesterday I woke up at eight. The day before, I woke up at 10.30. The day before that, I woke up at eight. I am definitely out of the habit of waking up early right now, which I'm totally feeling right now. So I'm gonna try to get this done. Um, let me show you what the reading is. So we are doing the creation and scope of security interests today. And we're gonna walk through a prototypical secured transaction. So I have about 18 pages of this to read. And then let me show you the problems. The problems are hard. And if you're cold called, you're get, you get cold called over the problems. And so we have to do 49.2, this problem right here, through 49.5. So they're like pretty long problems. Um, so I'm gonna get working on this. I'll probably do the reading, take a little bit of a break, and then start on the problems and hopefully get it done in the next couple of hours or so. Okay, I apologize, my heat is on, so if that's really loud and obnoxious, I'm sorry, it's just cold in here. But I finished the reading for class. That only took me like 40 minutes or so, really wasn't that bad. But now I'm gonna start working on the problems. So we have four problems to do today. Based on the reading, I don't think the problems should be that bad, but I do like to really type out thorough answers because when he, when my professor Colt calls you, you're on call for a while in this class and I just want to make sure I'm as prepared as possible. It's 6.51 right now. I think I'm hoping to be done with this by 8. That would be amazing. So... Let's see how it goes. Okay, 8 a.m. Just finished working on these problems for UCC today. And honestly, this is about how much I wrote for all the problems. I don't go into this with the intention of like figuring out, cracking the code and answering all the problems 100% correct. I really just go into it with the mindset of I want to have enough down. So if I get cold called, I have something to say and it looks like I put a good faith effort in. So got that done. Now I'm going to make some breakfast, start getting ready for the day. I still have two and a half hours before class, so things are good. to show you an award-winning oats recipe all right this is what I've been eating literally every single morning so I take half a cup of oats and I add three stevia then I take these blueberries these are my favorite blueberries these are wild frozen blueberries from Trader Joe's so I'll add in a good amount I like adding frozen berries to my oatmeal they cool the oats down and then as they melt, they add a really nice texture that I really enjoy. Then I add in cashew butter. This is the best cashew butter I've ever had in my life. This cashew butter has the perfect consistency. It's from Target. It is perfect for drizzling. And so I'll just add just over a tablespoon of this and watch this guys. This is my favorite part of the morning. Ooh, look at that drizzle. Oh my gosh, that's so good. So that's what that looks like. Then I completely forgot to do this, so I'm gonna do this now, but I'll add in just a little bit of vanilla extract. I feel like it adds, adds something that I like to the mix, but I add a little bit of whipped cream to the top. I don't know why, it's something about it. It just does it for me. So this is what my breakfast looks like pretty much every day right now. I find that it's really filling, keeps me full until lunch. I'm gonna eat this, drink some water, keep drinking my coffee, watch some YouTube while I eat, and then we are going to start getting ready for the day. A little bit later, it is 9.49 right now. I have class in a little less than an hour. I just got ready, kind of just 
threw on an outfit, did my skincare routine. Right now, I'm going to make a grocery list because I do have to go grocery shopping. I usually go grocery shopping on Mondays because I only have one class. Tomorrow, I'm making chicken parm, so I need pasta sauce. I'm gonna need tomatoes, need onion. I think that's pretty much all I need. That's really not gonna be bad. Usually my Monday stock up is a pretty big grocery haul, but guess I only need like five things, which is great. So I'm going to pack up my bag. Hold on, let me show you my outfit for the day. It is cold again today, which is crazy because it was like 70 degrees a couple days ago, but I'm wearing this star sweater from Zaffle. I love this sweater. I think it's super cute. These jeans are some of my favorite jeans from Target. They're just skinny jeans. They're ripped. I've had these forever and they are just amazing. Um, then I'm wearing my Amazon tall socks because it's cold and I don't know. I just like them. I know it kind of looks like little 80s of me, but I just think they're cute. And then I'm wearing my Pumas. I'm going to throw my coat on, get my stuff, and we're going to head out for the day. Mondays are just such a good day to only have one class because it really allows you to ease into the week. So I think after class, grocery shopping, I want to get a workout in. I don't know what that's going to look like today. I want to finish reading my book. I want to get ahead on my readings for tomorrow. Just like a lot of little things to do today after we get done with class. But it's going to be a good day. Isn't that right? <laughs> yeah, it's going to be good. What's on your plans? What, what's your Monday looking like? Reading for Tuesday. Yeah, we have a lot of reading tomorrow. Yeah. We have like, I looked at it. Our complex of reading is really long tomorrow. Yeah, it's like 70 pages. And we have that homework assignment we have to do for it too. I know. Today's, it's the last week before spring break. We're so excited. It's gonna be so good. I am so freaking excited to not have class for a week. Have you told them what we're doing? I did tell them what we're doing. I told them yesterday. It's gonna be so fun. Road trip vlog. Road trip vlog. And we're gonna get a lot done. We have a, we're leaving on Saturday and we have a note deadline on Sunday. So it's like, <laughs> it's gonna be a little touch and go for a minute there, but I think it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Cause we still have, I mentioned this before, you have flex days that you can uh -huh. use where you can take an extra 24 hours. Um, so. We still have like two or three left, right? I still have three left. Yeah. And I'm like, we only have one more deadline. This is the last time we can use it, right? Yeah. So it's like, I might as well. So I might as well use it. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, we're gonna head out to class. A good day. I hope I'm not on call. Nathan passed, so. Once again. <laughs> Nathan passed, so there's no way Nathan could get called on. I did not pass because I don't want to waste a pass and I did the reading. Yeah. So I'm like, no, but if he, smart. but no, the problem is this was the class. I made a video called like my worst cold call ever. And it was about a cold call by this professor. Do you remember the one last semester? The Magnus and Moss, one? The Magnus and Moss yeah, cold call. I was there. He was there. He witnessed the whole thing. I, I will call. I will put it in the cards if you want to see it. But this professor, he I have had my worst cold call ever with him. So maybe I can maybe I can have an even worse one today. <laughs> we'll see. I do like I do like exceeding expectations, but Okay, everyone, I got back from class. I had a little pre-workout snack. I had some cereal, and now I'm about to go to the gym. I think I'm going to pick up Nathan. We're going to go together, and then I'm going to head to Trader Joe's to get those things that I had on my list earlier, but I'm really excited to work out today. I'm feeling really good. I am going to train chest, shoulders, and triceps today, which should be great. Honestly, been loving training upper body, been hating training legs lately. I've just been absolutely despising it and dreading it. And honestly, I'm skipping leg day. I'm not gonna lie, but this is the outfit for the workout. This sports bra is really, really cute, super full coverage, and I really like it. It is from Airy, and then these leggings are the Gymshark high waisted flex leggings, which are some of my favorite to work out in. So I'm going to pack up here. Is my tongue blue? I just was eating blueberries. Um, I'm gonna pack up here. We are going to head to the gym and it is going to be a good workout. Class was really good. We were talking about, um, we were talking about security agreements and how a secured creditor perfects their security interest, which does not sound exciting at all, but it's actually my favorite class. When I go in there, I have a hard time paying attention in classes. I think this is something I don't talk about a lot. I don't want anyone to get the impression that I go into my classes and I am fully present the entire 82 minutes or however long the class is because honestly, it's just not the case. A lot of the times I get distracted. I have a really hard time focusing. A lot of the lectures are just extremely dry and boring. I will say commercial transactions, 
I'm fully focused 96% of the time, which is pretty good. I love that class. I really enjoy it. It's very formulaic. Classes that have to do with the code for me, I really enjoy just because it, it reminds me of Civ Pro and the fact that there's provision, there's the bankruptcy code. It just, it, to me, it just, it's very intuitive. So I enjoy those kind of classes a lot, but a lot of the time I do have a hard time focusing in other classes. So just wanted to say that because I feel like it's important. I'm gonna bundle up because it's really cold outside. I'm gonna get ready, get hyped to go to the gym. I'm super excited today to work out and I will update you guys after. Really, really sporting my best look here. Hi guys, I have not updated in a while. Basically, I last talked to you when I was going to the gym. I went to the gym, I was there for about 10 minutes, left, um, got a major sinus headache slash it could be a migraine, I can't tell because I, I really don't know. It's like a lot of pain in here, like radiating into my upper teeth, my eyebrow, like just in the face. My face hurt so bad. So I ended up taking a nap. I was in bed for like two hours. Then I got up and I decided to take a bath because heat and steam generally like opens this up for me and makes it feel a little bit better. And now it's six o'clock. I'm feeling a little bit stressed because for one, I'm supposed to, I was supposed to go grocery shopping. I didn't go because I was like, I need to get home and lay down. For two, my apartment's a mess and I, I really need to clean it up because like, it's just driving me nuts. And one thing I hate is having like a messy space. Three, I have like a hundred pages of reading to do for tomorrow. So I'm really like worried that that's not all gonna get done. And four, I even ordered dinner. I never, like since I've been here, the amount of times I've ordered delivery, like, been here for over two months now. I've probably ordered delivery for myself like twice, maybe, maybe even less. So I just was not feeling it. So it's six right now. I'm, I was finishing this book in the bath. I'm almost done with it. I just like, I like, this is such a negative clip. I'm so sorry. Like, I, I know you don't watch my vlogs to like leave in a worse mood than you came in with, but like this book is not that great so far. I'm like, and I'm almost done. I, I'm holding out hope that the ending's good, but Ugh, guys, I need to rally. My headache feels a little bit better. Sinus headaches, I can generally power through, but this one, my face just hurts. Anybody who has sinus headaches, you know it's like a very weird feeling of pressure and just pain right in here. So hopefully I'll be able to eat dinner, get up to the grocery store, clean up my apartment, and at least do one of my readings tonight. If I can at least do either complex civil litigation, which I'm not gonna do that one because that one's 80 pages, there's just no way. If I can either do commercial transactions or family law tonight, I will feel so much better and I won't have to wake up at like 5 a.m. But that means it could be like a long-ish night for me, which is great. I don't know guys, we're gonna get through this together. I was like debating ending the vlog and then I just thought, you know what, this is real life. Um, this is how it's going. Had to immediately come home and lay down, which was awesome because that killed my afternoon and I was like actually having a really good day today so we're gonna try to be more positive from here the goal is to eat dinner I need to see how many pages of this book I have left because I want to know if I can finish it tonight mm, I have about 70 pages of this book left I don't know if it's gonna happen but I'll read for a little bit longer and then um hopefully I have the strength to go to the grocery store because if not I have to go to the grocery store tomorrow so if I don't do it tonight, that's just gonna make tomorrow really, really, really rough for me because I have five hours of classes too. So we will see how this goes. I will update you in a little bit. All right, here is the dinner. I ordered a poke bowl from this place called Poke Doke. It's actually really good. I got some chili sauce, some Thai chili sauce on the side, but this is my order. I got rice, two servings of chicken, onions, mild sauce, edamame, green onions, mango fried onions, sweet Thai chili sauce on the side, and sesame seeds. So I'm going to demolish this right now because it looks really good. And then hopefully I will feel good enough to carry on with my night. Hello everyone, it is the next day. I ended up not cleaning last night and not doing anything because my head really hurt and I went to sleep and I woke up this morning and I feel a lot better. I think 
for those of you who have headaches, you probably understand. It almost feels like the day after you have like a really bad headache, it feels like a hangover almost where you just feel like kind of headachey. Like I'm definitely functional today. Like I've been up for the past hour and a half or so just cleaning, but I definitely do still feel a little bit achy, but I think it'll be okay. I have a really big day today and I'm actually going to end off the vlog here because I'm going to start a brand new vlog and vlog the next few days. So I hope you are excited for that. I hope you enjoyed this one. I don't know how long it is. I hope it was long enough. I think I think I managed to talk enough, but I think the next one will have more substantive school content in it, hopefully, because I haven't been great at that. But I thank you all for bearing with me and I thank you for watching another vlog and I will talk to you all in the next one. Bye guys. Bye.